What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 10 minute toned arms workout. So grab your light dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to part two of your workout for today. This is your 10 minute arm chisel workout. We're just gonna be doing upper body moves. I've kept the same dumbbells as I used in the part one of the workout today, so I have 8, 10, 15, 20, and 25 dumbbells out here still, but more than likely I'll just be using 8, 10, and 15 pound dumbbells because we're gonna be working the whole time. It's 10 minutes straight, 10 exercises for 50 seconds, just enough for me to transition you into the next move, and then we're gonna be done, okay? So it's gonna go quickly. I need you to work hard from minute one all the way to minute 10, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Make sure your arms are nice and warm. If you haven't warmed them up yet, take this time to stop the video and give them a couple swings, but most likely you will have just finish your previous workout. So let's get started, okay? Your very first move, I'll count you down, but the very first move is bicep curl pulses. I'll show you first and then we'll start together. Okay, so you're coming right here in the middle and you're pulsing, okay? About three inches up and down, good? Okay, grab your dumbbells. Let's go in four, three, two, one, right here at 90 degrees, and we're up, and we're up. Nice flat palms, elbows are right at your side, and you're not relaxing for 50 seconds. Good job. The whole time we're working today, I need you to just breathe, okay? We're working on pretty much just triceps and biceps. There you go, great job. You're already 30 seconds in. Last 20, here we go. If you wanna alternate here a little, go here. Okay, same kind of thing, but maybe a little bit more interesting. <laughs> okay, here we go, 10, nine, don't relax yet, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest for 10. Your next move is tricep kickback pulses. So we're going a bit lighter, okay? Same thing, you're right up top here. All right, come with me in two, one, let's go. So you're straight, bend just a little. Okay, you wanna keep the dumbbell from your hip back. So you're not ever coming back in here. Keep it up top. Might feel a little shaky and like you're not, barely, you're not hardly moving at all. That's perfect. I need as much tension on your arms as I can get. Try to keep the dumbbell behind your butt. Straight to just about 45 degrees bent. Good job. There we go. Stay with me. We've got 10, 9, and then we're going down for push ups. Okay? On your knees or on your toes. 3, 2, 1, good. Okay. Dumbbells down. Wide stance with the push ups. So we hit biceps and chest. Okay? Let's start here in two, one. Abs are tight. Let's go. Elbows go out to the side. Your core is tight. You're lowering hips and chest together. If you're on your knees, same thing. Hips and chest go down together. Almost there, good job. Last 20 seconds here. You can do it. That's it, 10 more seconds. 10, nine. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Flip right over on your butt. Dip, pulses. Okay, fingertips are pointed out to the side. You're gonna lift your butt up, weight in the heels, send your elbows straight back right here. Ready, let's go. Good job, and try not to float too far away from your hands where you're down here. Keep your butt right in the middle of your hands and your feet. Woo. This one burns quickly. <laughs> Great job. Almost there. Come on. Just about 15 more seconds left. Push, push, push. 
And then we're going into some hammer curls in eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Good job. Grab some dumbbells, hammer curls. Okay, we're right here, keeping it top, middle. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Great job. Woo. Stay with me here. The goal is to not take too much time in between bent positions. Good job, good job. 20 more seconds, let's go. Push through the burn. Don't relax any. 15, 14. Beautiful, let's go. Eight, seven, we're going to skull crushers next in four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Two dumbbells, come on down to the floor. Roll it down, two dumbbells go down beside your ears and then diagonal back. Ready? Let's go, diagonal, bend. So you're ending up at this straight arm slanted position. Bend, slanted. Great work, come on, come on. 20 seconds down. Keep that slant, make sure you're not pulling back over here. Okay, I want you working the whole time. 20 seconds. Woo, that's it, 10, nine, seven, six, three, two, one, come on up. We're going hammer to internal rotation curl. So. Dumbbells are down to your side. Turn in, turn the pinky in. Okay, two, one, let's go. Good, not relaxing. Get almost to the bottom, pull again, lift. Pull, lift. Great job. 20 seconds down. Someone caught me one time and said, you can tell when you're struggling, you start to tap your feet and start to move your legs around. Yep, <laughs> that is happening again. 14, 13. Nine, eight, almost there. Five, four, two, one. Overhead extension pulse, okay? Maybe up one dumbbell. You're going right here behind your head, okay? Two, one, let's go. You can use one or two dumbbells. If you're using two, just make sure your elbows stay in line and we're not relaxing here. I'm not straightening out my arms all the way up top to rest. I'm staying bent and then just a little bit less bent. Good work. This is number eight out of 10. So I need you to give me all you've got. We're gonna do one bicep move after this and then a combo to finish. Good, 10 more seconds, let's go. 10, nine, eight, three, two, one. Good, we've got drag curls next. Okay, palms are open at your side. You're pulling your hands up to the ribs and then right back down. Up and down, ready? Let's go, drag it up the side, right back down. Like you're drawing a line from your ribs to your hip. Good, shoot your elbows back, pull. That's it, strong wrist. Good, and if you can't get the hang of this one, just come right here in the front, pulse it out right here, okay? If you can't get the drag curl, it's okay, go right here. Whew. 
Almost there. Eight, seven. Come on, we've got just another minute after this. Four, three, two, one. Here's what we've got last. Three bent curls, three kickbacks, okay? Looks like this. One, two, three. Turn it back. One, two, three. Are you ready? Let's go. One minute straight and we're done. Three and three. Good quality on every single one. Beautiful. Let's go. There's my feet tapping again. Whew. Pull, pull, pull. Bend the arms and then straighten. Straighten. Beautiful job. We're going all the way to zero. That means we've got just about 20 seconds left. Let's go. Come on. Push through. 14, 13, 9, 8. Finish strong with me. Come on. 6, 5. Last three reps here. Let's go. 3, 2, 1, and rest. Woo. Quick and spicy little arm burnout. Let's take your hands, flip your fingers to face the floor and pull your fingers back towards your elbow. Let's stretch out those forearms just a little bit. I know you've been holding dumbbells for 10 minutes straight. We're actually there with two minutes in there where we didn't, but been holding dumbbells a lot today. So switch hands. Don't forget about all the muscles of your body that work for you in an upper body workout or in a lower body workout. Your arms are still working. Core working for all of it. Okay, cross your arms over your chest. Let your thumbs face the ceiling and let your fingers reach back way behind your back. I'm so proud of you today. Thank you for joining me in this 10 minute burnout. Challenge any of your friends to do this workout. I promise they will feel the burn as well, especially if you're looking, on, looking into toning up your arms for tank top season or the summer or a special event you've got coming up if you want to reduce some of this swing. I've heard so many people say, I want this to stop jiggling when I move this, okay? You've got to work on tricep and bicep strength, okay? So challenge a friend to do this workout as well. I know if you're like me, you feel like your arms are just permanently going to be locked right here today. So hopefully they'll ease up a little bit, but thank you for being here with me. Don't forget before you head out today to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It means so much to us that you take the time, take the time to do that. And then lastly, comment below that you crushed it. Throw a little flex emoji in there and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Woo.